Three Card Money asked a very interesting question about sternal pain post heart transplant. Here's what he said. He said, Hey, Jim, how long did it take for your sternum pain to go away? It's been about two months now, and I still have pain, which is disappointing me. Well, basically, I've already answered his question in the comments, but I wanted to share with you as well. If you're only two, three months post-transplant and you're having sternal pain, don't worry at all about that. As a matter of fact, we oftentimes teach in our transplant education courses, at least at my transplant hospital, that you can expect anywhere from between 6 to 12 months to completely heal or bring together fully that sternum itself after any type of open heart surgery, which obviously would include heart transplant. But there's a factor that comes in post heart transplant that doesn't always come in after other open heart type of surgeries. And that is your body is doing a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous amount of healing slash adjusting. You see, typically speaking, most transplant centers will put you on what they would consider as sternal precautions for somewhere in the neighborhood of six to 12 weeks post transplant. Basically, that's going to limit limit you from doing quite a few things. One of which we often dread is it basically would often limit you from driving a car or even in many cases my team advised me never to sit in the front seat of a car within the first of 12 weeks and obviously that's because that sternum is not healed therefore there's the danger potential heaven forbid something should happen and you should be in an accident that you might pull forward in the seat belt or an airbag might come out. You just don't need to bother with that early on. In addition to that, oftentimes those sternal precautions will definitely hinder you from getting into a real serious cardiac rehab, particularly anything that might work the upper body, the arms, obviously the chest. You're not going to be able to do push-ups or sit-ups or anything like that. And so there are going to be some limitations that are extended approximately 6 to 12 weeks post-transplant. They're going to monitor you closely to try to determine via x-rays and other things that they can do exams just by feeling the area, whether or not that sternum is healing properly and if any additional things need to be done to make sure that it does. Oftentimes teams will use either a bracketed type thing like a staple and or wires just like they've done for many decades to wire those, th those things together and it just takes a while for that to begin to heal and really firm itself up. However, if someone is two, three months, maybe even four months post transplant and still experiencing some pain or discomfort or like I did, Ooh, I hate to think about it, but that kind of grinding feeling in my chest, don't sweat it because it's often basically explained again that it can take as much as 6 to 12 months to heal that sternum. And that generally comes in because your body is doing a tremendous amount of healing. And basically, to put it in my terms, which are below layman's terms, they're really terms of somebody who can't comprehend much, but basically your body is expending so much of its energy, so much of its healing powers are being sent to the heart itself for that organ that's been replaced, that in turn, there's just not a lot of energy being sent to the bone itself. And so your body can heal, your body will heal itself eventually, maybe they'll need some assistance, but you will heal, you'll get past this, but it just takes a lot longer time because you're adjusting, you're adapting, you're trying to get used to so much, obviously in this case, that new heart, that new organ, and as it's learning to do its thing and going through its paces, there's just so much energy focused into its repair and its recovery that the bones kind of become secondary. And that just makes good sense. That's something that God built into us, something that, yeah, I might not have thought of that, but certainly it is a plus in our life. So I would say if you're two, three months out and you're still experiencing pain and discomfort, hey, I've been there, done that, got the card. Most have at that point. And so you just kind of roll with it and you continue to stick with those precautions. Anytime that you're doing anything, even outside of that six to 12 week uh, window of those precautions being actually literally placed on you or formally placed on you if you start feeling that tinge or that discomfort back away don't do that take a break give yourself some time and i promise you things will do much better i hope this answered your question just to an extent i hope this helps some of you don't get down on yourself we all heal at different paces at different time frames and we just have to go with it and allow ourselves to do the best that we can in every situation have a great day folks love you Stay stronger, friends.